Well, I've just cleared uh, Buxer Turn Point. You can probably just see it. That's my remote start today, having been dropped off um, near Big Nera 2000. I dropped down to about uh, 1700 um, and uh, managed to maintain 1700 most of the way along. In fact, there was some lovely lift on Buxer, and I just pulled back into positive flat um, and got up to about 2000. I'm now 1800 on my way back to Harting in a bit of sync. I'm just uh, in negative flat flying at uh, 70 knots and might just push forward a little bit faster. Um, it's a lovely morning on the 22nd of November. I'll just show you. Peter's Field is out there and you can see the, I think that's the A3, uh, yeah, the A3 which goes through the gap at Butzer. You just see South Harting uh, over ahead over there and the Downs Ridge. Um, that's over and out for me for the time being. Back in well, hello again. Um, I've crossed over to the Fell Ridge and I've had just been in two showers of rain. But there's a lovely rainbow up north over there. I don't know whether you can see that through this rather rained on canopy. Um, it's all very murky over there on the Wilmington Ridge and I haven't dared go across because the northeast section of this furl ridge, uh, northeast facing that you can see now, ain't working very well. So we're staying on the north facing bit. There's the rainbow over there. And it's looking as if it may be promising. See Glyndebourne Windmill and to the left of it Mount Cavern and to the left of that Lewis and then Mount Harry behind Lewis there. And this is the uh, north section of the Fell Ridge we're on now. You can see Fell Beacon there, north facing section I should say. Um, and I'm just sticking on that and hoping that the weather is going to improve, the wind's going to get a bit stronger and go a bit more east if possible so we can jump across uh, onto the Wilmington section but I'm not daring to do it yet. Some birds soaring here, some seagulls. So it's not too bad, we've got a good indication of wind direction actually from that smoke over there towards New Haven. Uh, I have to say it looks as if there's a bit of west in it, so that's not good for the Eastbourne bit. Um, so I'm stuck on Fell Ridge at the moment, uh, I'm not going to go back to Cabin, partly because I haven't got enough height, and partly because I'm going to hang on to see if I can get to Eastbourne. So I've got a slight problem at the moment, I can't get my... Uh, drink pipe so I may be starved of drink for the duration. There's Fell Beacon there. A bit of sun out towards the coast. You can see that. And uh, it's been not been too bad. It's now caught, uh, just gone half past eleven. I've been in the air for an hour and a half having been dropped off at, at uh, Bigna 2000 feet. I've gone along to um, dropped onto the ridge at Seaford College and along to Butzer where I went up to about 1900. That seemed to be working. Let's just turn here. Right. Uh, and uh, so I'm just making a turn. There's the train going on over the bedding and crossing there. And uh, here's the Spell Ridge. We're holding 1100 so I can sort of vaguely relax. Oh, the rainbow's looking nice over there. Very nice. All right, well, I'm going to say cheerio for a bit and we'll have a bit more later on. Just switch the on because that rainbow really is very, very nice there over the reservoir. That's Alfriston down there. We're on the we're on the northeast section now of the fell, northeast facing section of the fell, which is not working great. I'll just turn around here. Not very good turning in the sink. Never mind. That was a little bit of a mistake. Not working great here, so we need to just get back onto the ridge. Uh, right.
Well, this is the next part of the story. I think it speaks for itself. <laughs> um, I did manage to get to the Eastbourne turn point. A bit of a disaster. Uh, well, actually, actually, that was all right. But coming back from Furl, I, I left. Thought I was in a line of lift, which turned to sink. And I did only leave at about 10:50, which was probably a very foolish thing to do. So um, I had a got down to about four, four or five hundred feet. Um, picking fields along the way, wandered about getting back onto the ridge there, but uh, that's the back of Cabern, but uh, I was too low by that point and I had to 